Brewster TV, everybody. The show where we usually take three of New England's finest craft beers. We drink, we discuss, and then we rate them at the end. But today, you are in for a treat because we have three West Coast blends. Yeah, it's wild, wild West Coast. We got a San Diego sandwich with some Fresno stout in the middle. I can get down with oh, that. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, these came courtesy of our good friend on Instagram, Beer Loving Mother. You can follow her at Beer Loving Mother. Kind of self-explanatory. Um, on that note, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Brewster Promotions. Um, you can find us on YouTube. Make sure you com uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell icon too so you can actually tell when we post. And to see when the newest videos come out, check us out on Twitter as well, at BrewsterNH. Yep, yep, BrewsterNH. So on that note, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to dive into these West Coast brews. Yeah, let's get some beers. Let's do it. Shark Week, but this beer is 7% and we're drinking it. Yep, yep. Um, our first beer in today's lineup comes from Coronado Brewing Co. Uh, out of San Diego. Yeah, basically a uh, 25-year-old pub that kind of blew up and made some uh, some awarded beers. We're going to try it out. First glance, kind of red. Goes with the shark motif for sure. Yeah, yeah. A little, uh, little gruesome blood in the water type vibe. Mm -hmm. I can, it fits the aesthetic. I dig it. I dig it. Absolutely. Um, not, I mean, a little hazy, but Definitely not hazy. too, like, not too, too cloudy, but it's got a little haze to it. It's Let's, opaque. Yeah, yeah. Let's give it a whiff. Very little head on it, uh, which has since faded. Oh, sorry. Your pour is crap. No, no. It's uh, the, the head on the beer. Um, other people said too, was very thin and it goes away quickly. This is why I don't pour live. We'll do it live. Smells very... It smells piney. It does. Very piney. Um, I'm going to channel you for a second and say almost planty. Fruity planty, though. Fruity planty. Fruity planties. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. Okay. So All that's... Right. What do you mean? Fr yeah. Grapefruit, for sure. And both in the appearance and in the taste, it's very grapefruit. I got to... Hang on. I got to... So, uh, to me, uh, you have your New England style IPAs, which are very juicy, very fruity, uh, not super bitter. This one is pretty bitter, but I think that's all from the grapefruit flavor. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't really, at first sip, I wasn't really getting that grapefruit, but after you pointed it out, and then after I, like, sipped it and you let it sit on the tongue a little bit more, it does, it kicks. It's got a good little grapefruit punch to it. Yeah. Very smooth, too. Very smooth body. Um I would consider this crushable. Yeah, especially, I'm not a kind of person who loves grapefruit, um, but if you are, you would very much enjoy this beer. Yeah, yeah, it's a subtle, we, I've heard people in the past that get scared off on IPAs have too much of like a hot punch to them. This is something where it's nice and light, you got that fruit like kind of feeling behind it. Um, you would like this. You definitely recommend, give it a shot. Uh, so good job, Coronado, good job. Um, I think this is going to be the start of a tough call here, but I'm ready to move on to our next one. Yeah, let's see if uh, this one is a top pick or dead in the water. Ah, there it is. And welcome back. We've got... At this point, the stout tapes and cherry stout would go from 7% shark to 7% cherry. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Um, these guys are based out of Fresno, I believe. Yeah. Yep. Full circle. Full circle brewing. Um, first thing I noticed, and you know I'm a huge fan of just awesome can art, check this out. This is easily one of the coolest cans that I've ever seen. Um Really, really like this, and the little hashtag on the side here, beer tainment, or did I say that right? Yeah, beer tainment. Wow, nailed it. Yeah, these guys, <laughs> big on art, big on uh, putting a lot of effort into their beer. Uh, they have other beers out there that are all about like pushing different things, uh, milkshake IPAs. Super excited to try this one. I also smell. like, quick side note, I also really like, and I don't know if you saw this, on the side here... They actually have, it's almost like a meter type deal. It almost reminds me of like one of those RPG type things where it's like, oh, like it shows like color, malt, hops, and it's got like the little gratings. So that's kind of cool. It lets you know what you're getting into. Choose your alcohol alcoholic character, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, body, it's a stout. It's dark. It's creamy. You, you know what it is. Um, let's give it a whiff. I get, and I don't know about you, typical stout, slight whiff of cherry. 
I get cherry wood. Wood it, and cherry. Okay. And I really like the wood aspect of that. That's why I, what I like in a stout. Okay. Well, on that note, let's try it. I get cherry. I get wood. Hang on. I'm frozen. <laughs> okay, so this made my brain fart. Um, <laughs> and I'll explain why. Super smooth. Stouts, I love them to death, but they are typically very heavy. This is very smooth. I also hate cherry. Um, cherry flavored. Anything cherry Garcia. Um, cherry like Jolly Ranchers. Like, I hate cherry. I like this cherry. Which is saying something. That's... Because it's not too, too much. It's slight. It's got that, like, bold, creamy body in the stout what, like stout department. But, like, the cherry is just subtle enough that it's not like, oh, God, this is just an awful mix. Yeah. Decent head on the beer ahead of time. The, it smells like it tastes... Um, Delicious. We, we go from something that's uh, bitter because of the, mm. the fruit in it to uh, less bitter because of the fruit in it. And pretty good overall like that's, that's that's got some wood flavor to it at the end that like oaky finish to it i love that beer that's good 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 well we're gonna have to get to our final beer of the day back to san diego we go back to san diego you heard it here folks We have reached the pinnacle of our lineup here, um, one of the, which I recently learned via you, it's critically acclaimed, it's red, it's bold, and it's apparently very tasty, um, hashtag ISO from, let's see, Pure Project Brewing, um, and they are based out of San Diego. Yeah, this I am very excited for. So not only is this a critically acclaimed beer, um, the company itself all about giving back. They say right on the can, 1% back to the planet. Um, they've, they're have they a relatively young seven-year-old brewery, over 250 beers. Uh, I had one of theirs from a, uh, a collab with Equilibrium uh, oh. from this side of the country recently. That was a very good beer. Um, and it's, look at this, this is wacky. So it's a triple, New England style triple IPA with dragon fruit. Looks like your shirt. Yeah, yeah, uh, can art very matrixy, um, which I think is really cool. Um, so fun fact, you know, if you drink the red beer, you're able to see everything as it is. And if you drink the blue beer, then you better call the doctor if it's been longer than four hours. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and now we drink. Find out if we know beer foo. Uh, hang on, you gotta sniff it. Can't believe you almost drank without the sniff. I want to drink this beer so bad. And it's got it very dragon fruity. No, to me, it's all like it's, that piney goodness that you get out of a really good IPA. I don't know how I'm getting the fruit, but best way to find out is the taste. Let's do it. That's all right. So this is a, this is a wow. ten point three percent beer. That's delicious. That's crushable. That's these were fruit beers. Supposedly, some things were crushable, but not compared to this. This triple IPA, something at 10 per 10.3 percent rather, should not taste as smooth. This is this is dangerous, stupid how easy this goes down. Um, I get personally, I get a little bit of the dragon fruit in there, which I do like a little bit. Um, it's very, it's not cloyingly sweet. It's got a good balance between, you know, you've got your, like, hoppy, aromatic kind of flavor to it, but then you've got that, like, nice, like, juicy, like, aftertaste to it. Um, this is, again, it, it's stupid how easy this goes down. This is insane. The the scent is just, to me, it's all hop. It's all pineiness. Um, it's really, really good smelling. And then the taste is just chef's kiss. There's Jesus, Mary, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. This is amazing. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so here's the really difficult part. Um, we've drank them. We've discussed them. Folks, now we got to rate them. How, how are we going to do this? Yeah. Very carefully. Um, folks, it's time for Drink, Marry, Spill. Welcome to 
drink Mary spill where the points are made up and the ABVs don't matter. Uh, folks, like we said, we drank them, we've discussed them, now it's our favorite part of the show. we got to rank these bad boys. And um, personally, I'm conflicted, but I'm going to let you go first. Um, I'm curious to see your impressions here. Yeah, so in our uh, West Coast episode, of course, we have two New England style IPAs and a uh, fruit stout. Um, I'm going to drink the, the fruit stout uh, full circle. I love the uh, the oakiness of this beer, like back of your palate, just that caramel woodsy finish. It can't be beat to me for for almost anything lately. That that particular kind of flavor. Okay, fair, uh, fair. Love that. Love that flavor. Mm -hmm. Can't be beat, except by oh my god, this was so good. Oh my word! You're uh, not wrong. Pure project. A crushable, triple New England style IPA with with uh, dragon fruit to make it red, and your sustainably sourced like come on, big ups just, there. That's they're good for the planet. They're good for me because I yeah. love it, and they're so so tasty. Um, Feel free if you ever want to make something that's even like if you really want to pump your sustainability angle, make something called Green New Beer and make it green somehow. I give you permission. You can use that. <sighs> okay. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to spill the song and going to spill the beer. It's uh, not Baby Shark Doot 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 Doot. That's going to be stuck in my head all damn and, night now. Good. Uh, and the beer was good, but I, I don't like grapefruit. That's all. Um, if you like grapefruit, you will love this beer. I don't. Sorry. You, my train of thought has been entirely derailed by that one damn joke. <laughs> doot 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 doot. You're the worst, but I love you. All right. Um. So I'm going to differentiate from you a tiny bit. Um, me personally, I will drink the Bigger Boat. Um, I really like the subtle grapefruit. Um, I like the smoothness of it. I just really, just something about it makes it just very, like, you know, with the warmer weather coming up, really sippable, really crushable, um, super refreshing, nice and light. And for a 7%er, it just, it doesn't feel like it. And I love stuff like that. Um, on the speaking of doesn't feel like it <laughs> <laughs> on the flip side, um, I'm going to spill, unfortunately, the, uh, cherry stout. Um, like I said, it's really weird and I'm conflicted because I hate cherry everything almost, but I love this, but in comparison, I'd rather drink this guy. Um, yeah, the cherry stout, very good. Love the can art. Um, really love their emphasis on local artists and incorporating that into their motif. That's awesome. Huge ups there. Um, but yeah, it's just out of the three, it's just not for me today. Um, and lastly, you know, I'm going to marry this ISO. I, I got to, oh God, I, few and far between have left me completely speechless when it comes to, you know, anything we tried on the show and ISO just knocks it out of the park. Powerful. You just, yeah, unique, what? powerful flavor profile, subtle dragon fruit, just Tasty, 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 and I'm going to be really upset that I'm probably not going to find any more of this for a while. That being said, uh, great job to all these breweries. Uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. Do what these guys did. You know, make a socially responsible company. Yeah. Promote local art, and just be good beer. Yeah, yeah. And on that note, that's going to wrap it up for our Wild Wild West Coast special. Um, again, we'd like to thank Beer Loving Mother for providing us with these three brews here. Don't forget, follow us on Instagram at Brewster Promotions. Comment, like, and subscribe on YouTube. I might have flubbed up that order, but that's fine. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Brewster and H. Yeah, he's got it. All right, everybody. Until next time, goodbye and good night.